Hi guys, this is Ida. Good morning. I want to share something with you guys. I have a project share and um, I worked on it all day yesterday. So I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on this guys because it was really time consuming. But I do want to share it with you, uh, with you guys and hopefully inspire you and give you ideas uh, the way you inspire me. Uh, I wanted to create something as you guys know I've been working on Happy Mail for quite a while now and it is a Christmas inspired Happy Mail most of it not all of it but most of it and uh, I wanted to create something to house some of my Happy Mail and I like to do I don't really do the back toppers and all that I'm kind of lazy when it comes to that but I do like to do like boxes to house the packages and I think that makes a really good presentation as well. A lot of ladies um, do things like that and I absolutely love the way the overall presentation is. So hopefully this is what I did here. I wanted to share this mailbox that I made yesterday and I created it all by hand. I didn't have any dye. I didn't do any, use any dyes or anything like that. Uh, and I had to do a lot of brainstorming to kind of, you know, f to bring it to fruitation. And, um, but this is what I came up with, you guys. Here's the top of the, the dome lid that's on my uh, Santa mailbox. And then all I added was a satin rose right here. And another sheer organza pink one with a uh, tied, and I tied two little uh, gold bells to it. And here is the front, guys. I cannot see the phone is kind of high because the mailbox is tall, but hopefully I am showing you. Let me see. There's the feet. And there is the top and the little hood is right here. You can even see the slot right there where you deposit the mail. And um, let me move it down so you guys can continue to see that now. Um, I like to use when people give me with different embellishments or dyes or whatever it is. And let me tell you, me and dyes have a love story. And um, I just absolutely love the Christmas, the, uh, the crispness and the cut of a dye, especially when it embosses. So um, the only two dyes that I used in this project are uh, this candy cane dye that my friend Carolyn gifted me. And then this little uh, Cottage Cuts Christmas tree dye. And um, this tree was inspired by Rosa, who is Rosa's Creative Way here on YouTube. And she did an embellishment a while back with this tree, and that's why I bought it. Um, and then she cut out the snow with some white foam, and I absolutely love the way that looked, guys. The only difference that I did in mine, I did add some more faux snow to the top of the white foam, the way I have it here on the snowbank. So that's the only difference between mine and Rosa's, but it was inspired by Rosa's creative way. Now, this embellishment right here, I love it when you guys uh, send me already made embellishments because uh, this has really helped me out quite a bit. This little gift package right here was created by Miss Agnes Webb. And then uh, this one was created by her as well. And uh, then I made this little envelope here and of course the little candy cane with the paper that my daughter designed for me. I still need to add a bling there you guys. I don't know what I was thinking but I need to add something there. And then of course she created these little uh, the striped mint and pink paper for me with these postage stamps and I made them into little like little letters. And then this uh, resin um, or acrylic snowflake was gifted to me by Miss Lorianne Norris and they came in little she gave me a bunch of little bags like this you guys with different things in them and this was one of the bags that she gifted me so I added one of those snowflakes there um, I'll turn it to the side so you guys can see this little snowflake came from Miss Jacqueline who is Metalock 001 here on YouTube and of course my friend Carolyn is Tea Time and Dolls here on YouTube and um, Here's another tree, but I haven't added the snow to this tree. I didn't do much to it, you guys. I kept it kind of simple, like my focal point was the front. And here's another snowflake from Miss uh, Jacqueline, and here's the other one. So those are all my snowflakes. I'm, I went through all my snowflakes, and I'm glad that, you know, that because she took the time to create them for me, that I really did use them. And then here's another little snowflake from Miss um, Lorianne. 
and then the bottom here guys this trim I think the pom-pom trim came from Hobby Lobby and then the metallic gold came from uh, Michaels they come in those cards and you have different colors in it and that's where that came from now the border the border of the um, of the mailbox you guys I, I uh, freehanded this right here so I kind of had to fussy cut the legs and all that. But the border of the mailbox has a popsicle stick that runs all the way across, all the way down the sides and all the way around to give my box stability. And then I added little sections, little pieces of popsicle sticks to butt up against the one that I had glued across to give the, the feet on the mailbox stability where it's not going to collapse. I, I like for things to last and... And I all don't always accomplish that, but hopefully I did here. And I did finish the bottom, you guys. There's the bottom of the mailbox. I hope you guys can see that because I can't see what you're seeing. And I kept it pretty simple, you guys. I did the same trim on, on the lid that I did on the bottom. And I wanted to give the effect like the mail, the, like the mailbox was so full that the packages and letters were just bursting out, falling out of the, uh, the front opening that the mailboxes have. So I really like the way this uh, uh, ended up, you guys. The lid com does come out. Now, I like to put my embellishments in like the 4x6 cards. And even though this one is a pretty tall embellishment, you guys, it fits perfectly in here. And, um, and it just slides right in. And this one, too. This one is not very wide, but it's kind of tall, you guys. It measures, wow, it measures 8 inches high. And this fits in there perfectly into the the box without uh, bending this or folding it. Now these little envelopes I created with the paper that my daughter made for me. That's what these. That's how I created these with her paper line. That she, well, not really paper line because it was only a couple of them because I just wanted something to do like letters to Santa. So that's what she created for me. And, um, and of course, here are some, especially when you have bulky things like this, you guys, and you want to incorporate them into your Happy Mail. Of course, you need something that's going to house it and keep it from getting damaged. And this really does fit the bill. Like, I can fit, like, so much stuff in here. Now, when I created the box, you guys, I did it to where the box and the lid were the exact same width, the same thickness or depth. That everything was exactly the same you guys because I didn't want the lid to slide over the box I wanted it to fall right on top of the edge of the box and the way I accomplished that you guys so that's why I had to really brainstorm uh, was putting after my box was complete I added a strip of poster board and all the way around the perimeter and it's sticking out about half an inch as you guys can see maybe a little bit more and I didn't measure because this was just for the lid to fall right over it and be snug and not fall all the way down so when I put the lid on it it gets caught up right here you guys on the edge of the box and it looks like it's one seamless piece but it's actually two pieces and look at how pretty that looks you guys the same thing on the lid the lid was kind this paper was kind of flimsy and i did cut it out twice you guys i, I cut it out in in the lightweight poster board and then i did the designer paper over it but to make it very sturdy right here on the lid so it wouldn't just collapse or, or buckle i did add again another strip of the poster board all the way around the perimeter but this time it, i didn't let it stick out i just went around the the very edge i was lining it up with the with the edge of the lid and it works perfectly you guys so now when i slide this over this it, it fits perfectly it doesn't it just catches right there on that lid so that's what I created, you guys. This is what I wanted to share with you guys. I hope that this inspires you the way you guys inspire me because you really do. I watch your videos and um, and I've been watching the, the, the tag swap that everybody's creating, not just for my channel, but for Tamika's as well because I love, I always swap with Tamika and wasn't able to get in this time, but I still love to watch so that you guys inspire me as well. So anyway, this is what I created, you guys, and I hope that you like what I created. And I am going to try and get my daughter to, um, I'm going to try and cut it out in black cardstock, you guys. So hopefully I can get her to put it in into the Brothers Scan and Cut and be able to, 
to do some type of kit or something with this because this is really nice you guys and it makes a great presentation and like I said the legs if you can hear that they're very sturdy because of the popsicle sticks that I have in here and now there are some sticks that are thinner than a popsicle stick and I've seen them at Michael's I believe um, maybe even Joanne's I'm sure they have them in several places where the wood stuff is and they're very thin sticks and I think that would be better because the popsicle sticks are a little thick but you really can't even tell it because after I did that I did wrap another foil paper around it and cut the legs and everything so you wouldn't be able to tell that there was actually sticks underneath there so that's how what I, how I made this uh, very sturdy you guys and I think it's gonna make a great presentation no matter who this goes to I think it's a way a great way to present Happy Meal I also wanted to share a couple more things with you guys let me set it I'll leave that right there so you guys can continue to see it but um, I wanted to I forgot you guys Miss Betty who is scrap passion one here on YouTube I won you guys remember I won her giveaway for uh, Saturday morning crafts and I have been using her embellishments as well as you can see on some of the things that I've created that I do love and I do use the handmade uh, embellishments so she uh, had left a couple things out of my winnings and she sent me an email telling me that she had forgotten to put them in there and she was going to send them to me. You guys, and she did. Look what she sent me, you guys. She sent me two dies. The little cottage cut Santa hat. And then she sent me the cupcake that she did the cupcake embellishments with. So she sent me that one. Look at that, guys. Isn't that pretty? Thank you, Miss Betty. I really appreciate it. And I'm sorry that I forgot to let you know that I did receive it. But thank you so much. Now, there's another thing I want to share with you guys. I don't know if I brought it with me. I hope I did. I've been working in my kitchen table, you guys, because of um, because my room, my desk is all cluttered again, and I didn't have room to work. Another thing that I want to share with you guys is um, Miss Agnes Webb. And I was talking about her earlier on some of the things that she gifted me. Miss Agnes Webb sent me, guys, look, here's the book die. And like, and I think I've said it before that <laughs> I have a love affair with dies, you guys. So thank you, Miss Agnes. I really appreciate it, and I will use it. And as you can see, guys, this is smaller than the one that I used on the Santa card that I made with the fur on it. So this is the perfect size for a card. The other one, I think, as a standalone card, it's it's a good size, but not if you're going to put it on top of a, a base. This is perfect to go on top of a base. So I'm really going to enjoy this, Miss Agnes. And it's got a lot of little pieces, you guys. It has a little banner. Let me see if I can get it to, <clears throat> to come out because I want to share something with you guys. Nope. Let's see. And she even put it on this hard uh, cardstock, you guys, so it wouldn't get bent. That's a great idea when you ship uh, dies. That way you don't have to worry about it getting bent. Let me see if I can get the little banner out. I really want to share this with you guys. There's a little banner in here that I really like because it's going to work well with something I just bought. Let me put it on the backing over here. Look at this little banner, you guys. How cute is that banner? I absolutely love that banner. And um, I'm going to use it with... Um, <clears throat> I ordered some uh, little Christmas um, sentiments, you guys. And this banner is going to work perfectly on some of these little sentiments. Look at that, guys. And uh, so when I saw that, I thought, oh, that's perfect. That's perfect for, for, for what I'm going to do with it. And then she even sent me the sleeve, you guys, to put it in. Thank you, Miss Agnes. I appreciate it. Um, I can't wait to play with this. I, I have to create more, Christ more Christmas cards and stuff. So I'll definitely be playing with uh, this. And then she sent me, you guys, um, she created a card for me. A beautiful card. She told me she had made a stick pen for me and I uh, forgot to put it in the Happy Mail. You guys remember the fantastic 
happy mail that she sent me well here's the angel stick pin guys look at how big how how long this stick pin is so she sent me this stick pin and then here again is another one of her beautiful poinsettias. I absolutely love these. She made this little uh, rosette with the Santa Baby paper. Beautiful. And here's another one of her flowers. And they're all stickled up, guys, with either um, um, diamond dust or some type of glass glitter. That's what it looks like. It's beautiful. Look at the, she did a border over here. And even this has a sparkle on it. And I'm not going to open it up because she has a personal uh, note to me. But thank you, Miss Agnes. Your card is beautiful. I absolutely love it. So she gifted me that. And there's one more thing I want to share with you guys. And there's actually two I want to share with you guys. First, I want to say thank you to Miss Lisa. Miss Lisa Goss sent me the magnets, you guys. Um... Look at these uh, white magnets for the paper clips that, that I made, you guys. So she sent me these magnets. I think there's, these are going to work great on the magnets. The ones I made for Faithful Friday. Thank you, Miss Lisa. And then um, another thing I picked up, you guys. This is so funny. I thought it was so funny I had to get it. Look at this stamp set, you guys. Look at that. This is going to work perfect for the Secret Santa swap that I'm hosting right now. Because my daughter is in that swap, she'll be able to use this stamp. And then this one is funny too. It says, Santa won't be coming this year. He died laughing when you said you've been good. <laughs> it's so funny to me, you guys. And then these, it wasn't me. Define naughty. I was framed. And then this one, Dear Santa, I can explain. And then this one said, says, is it too late to negotiate? And then my all-time favorite, I think, is this one. It says, I've been good, and it's got a list where you check. One of them says, all year, most of the time, once in a while. And then the last one says, never mind, I'll buy my own stuff. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny, you guys. And it, I did get it as a set, so I do have the die to cut out the Santa and the ho-ho-ho right here. But it was kind of pricey, but I've never seen uh, something like this, and I thought it was really funny, and that I could use it in my little uh, mini envelope letters, Santa letters that I'm doing. So I'm definitely going to be enjoying this this holiday season. Thanks for watching, you guys. I think that's all I have to share today. I'm working on another project, and maybe tomorrow, or maybe later. Who knows? Because um, I do want to share it with you guys. Um, I think that is it for this this morning, you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone has a great day, and God bless. Bye.